hello guys in this video i will show you how to uh, estimate quantity of materials in the beam okay so you can see here uh, i have created a plan foundation beam plan and and uh, you can see this is a beam plan okay so we will calculate the quantity of materials it means cement sand and aggregate with the help of this excel sheet okay so you don't have to worry about that uh, you are a beginner level or a advanced level i will show you from the basic in the excel sheet okay so uh, that uh, uh, how will you calculate the quantity of materials in this beam okay so let's start our video first of all i would like to tell uh, i would like to provide your uh, heading okay so heading will be our estimation okay estimation of materials in beam okay beam okay i have provided here the heading okay now i will provide here the uh, title like serial number length quantity etc okay so you can see here there are two types of beam uh, from this direction this direction okay and this direction okay so these uh, let us uh, tell it a uh, uh, short beam okay these are short beam and these are what long beam okay so you can see here long beam is 21 feet 6 inch it means 21.5 feet okay and this long beam is 31 feet okay so we will provide the dimension of this beam in the excel sheet okay so these are known as shell and you can increase or decrease the width of this shell according to your uh, description okay so let us write here serial number as n okay First of all, I am providing here only title, serial number, and uh, I am providing here what? Description, okay? So D I S C R I P T I O N. Description, okay? Now, uh, here you have to provide length, okay? Length. If you are thinking that this uh, letter is going outside of this uh, cell, then you can increase or decrease the size from here, okay? So, length, and I will provide here width, width of beam, and that uh, we will provide here depth depth of beam or a height of beam okay and here provide i will provide your quantity how many beam are there uh, quantity and after that i am providing your volume okay so volume okay and you can also increase the uh, width of this cell okay now you can see here i have written all the uh, title now i will provide your serial number one for uh, long beam okay long beam okay for long beam length is how much we can see in this autocad file that uh, 31 feet okay so we will provide here long beam and uh, here length will be our in meter okay so length should be in meter to for easy calculation okay so our uh, measurement is how much 31 feet okay so we have to convert here in feet uh, meter okay so 31 feet how will we convert we have to just provide here equals to 31 divided by 3.28 okay we will apply the formula by uh, writing equals to sign okay so uh, 1 meter is equals to 3.28 feet so when we divide this feet uh, by 3.28 then we will get the answer in meter okay enter and you can see this 31 feet has been converted into meter okay so you can round off this uh, uh, number by here you can see here this is uh, this arrow is showing like this uh, this direction and this direction okay so when we click on this direction this, then it will be rounded off up to three digit or two digit digit according to your requirement okay so i am providing up to three digit now you have to provide the width of beam okay so width of beam is this is 9 inch by 12 inch beam and uh, it will be shown in the structure part okay so it, uh, here it is not given but uh, uh, its size is 9 inch by 12 inch so i am providing here 9 inch by 12 inch so width is how much 9 inch so we have to provide your formula again uh, equals to 9 divided by 12 okay so when we divide it by 12 then it will be converted into feet okay so provide here provide a uh, small bracket and again divide it by 3.28 to convert it into meter okay first of all we have converted this inch width is in inch 9 inch okay so we have to first of all convert it into uh, feet by dividing by 12 because 1 feet is equals to 12 inch 
and again we have to convert it into meter by dividing it by 3.28 okay so enter okay this is our value in meter okay 9 inch is equals to 2 0.2286 and again rounding off to up to three digit okay okay to 0 0.229 now depth is our 12 inch so again we will provide here 12 divided by 12 and provide it uh, a small bracket and again divide it by 3.28 okay to convert it into meter okay so it will be in meter okay uh, from inch okay guys so we have length width and depth in what meter okay now quantity how many beams are there okay so uh, you can see in this autocad file there are long beam one two three three beam okay so provide here three beam three number of beam three quantity now volume will be what length into width into depth okay so volume is equals to length multiply width multiply and this depth okay and this will be volume and we have to multiply it the total quantity how many beams are there there are three beams so we have to multiply it by three okay so uh, we can use the formula like this okay first of all we have to provide equals to then which cell you want to add or subtract or multiply or divide you have to select this cell okay so this is our volume okay guys this is the volume of this beam okay so you can round off it up to three digits okay so 1.977 meter cube this will be in our meter cube okay because we have taken all the value in meter so it will be our meter cube okay for short beam now we will provide for the short beam the short beam length is how much let us see in the autocad file so 21.6 this is 21 feet 6 inch it means 21.6 uh, 21.5 feet okay so provide here equals to equals to 21.5 divided by 3.28 and it will be converted into meter okay now again i am rounding it up to 3 digit and the width is same okay so width is our same depth is our same just we have to select this cell and drag it like this okay so it will be automatically uh, copied okay so quantity is our different so quantity is how much let us see in this autocad one one two three four four number of short beams are there okay so right here four and we have to apply this formula uh, you can select this cell and drag it like this okay like this uh, to uh, calculate it automatically okay so this is also in our meter cube okay okay now we have to add this both volume okay so i am writing here total volume total volume total volume okay so you can see this uh, letter is going outside of the cell then you can uh, increase the width and now we will add this both cell okay so right here equals sum small bracket and drag up to here and small bracket close small bracket enter and you will get the total volume of uh, in uh, of beam in meter cube okay meter cube okay so you have total volume of this whole beam is how much total volume of whole beam is 3.804 meter cube okay but guys this this is weight volume okay so this is our weight volume and we have to convert it into dry volume okay so for dry volume dry volume we have to multiply this volume by 1.54 okay so equals to 3.804 multiply 1.54 why we have multiplied it uh, by 1.54 because dry volume is always greater than weight volume by 52 to 54 percent okay so here i have taken 54 percent so we can directly multiply it by 1.54 to get the total volume okay so this is our total dry volume okay actual volume actual volume by the help of this we will calculate the cement sand and aggregate guys okay so we have total dry volume is this much now we will take the grade of concrete okay grade of concrete to calculate what 
materials in the beam okay because uh, grade of concrete contains different uh, ratio of mixed ratio of cement sand and aggregate like m20 grade of concrete m15 grade of concrete m10 uh, grade of concrete each grade of concrete contains different mixed ratio like cement sand and aggregate let us take uh, i am taking m20 grade of concrete okay so in m20 grade of concrete we have to uh, we have ratio 1 1 is to 1.5 is to what 1.5 is to what uh, 3 okay this is our the grade of concrete okay so you can also write here uh, in the uh, shell 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 okay so this is our uh, cement cement ratio and this is our sand ratio and this is our aggregate ratio okay aggregate ratio okay so you can see here the letter is going outside of cell then you can increase this okay so we have provided this now we have to write here sum okay sum of this all cell plus plus this plus enter okay so sum of mix will be what sum of mix is how much 5.5 Five, five okay now we will calculate the cement sand and aggregate okay so for cement cement volume and uh, i'm increasing the width of this cell here the sand volume and here aggregate volume okay so in this cell we will apply the formula okay so this is cement volume and this will be equals to part of cement okay so you here you can see this is the part of cement part of cement divided by this sum okay this sum this is the formula guys don't forget this okay you have to keep uh, remember you have to know how to use the formula in this excel cell excel sheet then only you can uh, be able to estimate any materials okay so uh, look at here equals to this cell it means uh, first of all we have to know the formula okay so uh, part of cement divided by total sum okay so part of uh, cement divided by total sum multiply dry volume okay so dry volume is our this actual volume okay and enter here you can see this is the volume of cement okay similarly for sand equals to part of sand divided by sum multiply what our dry volume equals to this is our volume of sand okay similarly for volume of aggregate equals to aggregate part divided by total sum multiply dry volume equals to okay these are the volume of uh, cement sand and aggregate this will be our in meter cube okay uh, meter cube so all are in our meter cube okay but guys this cement volume this cement comes in the bags in market okay so you can convert this meter cube of cement into number of bags how so for number of bags we have to uh, divide this volume we have to multiply this volume into 1440 because this is the density of the cement okay so this you multiply 1440 uh, and uh, give it a small bracket and divide it by 50 okay so dividing 50 why because one bag of cement contains 50 kg of uh, cement okay so guys you can see here this is the volume we have calculated and when we multiply it by density then we will get weight okay so total weight of cement and when we di uh, divide this weight by 50 then we will get total bags of cement okay so enter and you will get 30.6 bags of cement okay bags of cement okay so guys uh, we have calculated the total bags of cement 30.6 bags of cement and sand this much meter cube and aggregate this much meter cube for uh, to construct the beam like this okay the short beam and long beam hole okay so in this way we can calculate the cement sand and aggregate now we have to decorate it how will we decorate just uh, select all the box and provide here the 
here you can see all borders okay so enter and you will get the border okay now we have to uh, highlight the title okay so i am highlighting this title you can write here number two okay so i am highlighting this title from here up to here and providing yellow color okay and i am bolding it as well okay so you can see this uh, title has been highlighted again you can highlight this this grid of concrete and uh, make it bold okay again you can highlight this and uh, make it you can also provide another color like this okay so i am providing like this and make it bold so you can see here cement sand and aggregate okay now just i am showing you example you can provide like this okay and again i am highlighting this result in green color okay so i am providing here green color and make it bold okay so these are our, uh, these are our results and uh, uh, this this is the heading okay so i am uh, doing what i am selecting the uh, cell up to here okay and merging it okay so it will be converted it into a uh, single cell okay so you can see here this is the single cell and you can increase the size of heading like this okay and uh, provide it the uh, background color like this and uh, 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 and takes uh, like this okay so you can see here the estimation of materials in the beam has been decorated now you can see here all the letter are coming uh, right side of this cell okay so this is the cell and it is coming this side right side okay so uh, we have to put it into the mid of the cell then how will we provide it okay so select all these number and here you can see uh, in the alignment box so click on the center and you can see all the letter has came into center okay again i am selecting all this and uh, clicking on the center and uh, this letter also i am uh, providing at the center and also the letter i am providing at the center okay so all the digit has been came into the center okay and uh, you can also bold it the dry volume or actual volume okay bold it uh, or also you can change the text color okay like this okay so guys in this way we can estimate the materials in the beam and also you can calculate the uh, materials in the column or footing like this okay so guys this much for today please like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil engineering thank you